Welcome back to Free Speech Nation with me, Andrew Doyle. There's been much, much controversy this week after the Royal British Legion unveiled a brand new Pride Poppy. As you can see, uh, the badge combines the traditional poppy with the Progress Pride flag, uh, which is obviously an LGBTQIA2S plus symbol. The decision has been described as ridiculous and offensive by some. However, the British Legion are standing by their decision. Taking to X, formerly known as Twitter, they said, our pride badge symbolises support for the LGBTIQ plus community, an integral part of our armed forces, past and present. Well, to discuss this, I'm joined now by actor and comedian James Dreyfus. James, welcome back to the show. Hi, Andrew. So I want to ask you, because you uh, engaged in a chat with whoever runs the Royal British Legion Twitter account or X account about this, uh, did you get anywhere? Well, I, I mean, I, I wasn't objecting to the fact that they stuck, you know, something onto it. They do that with football uh, clubs, etc. That was not my point. My point was, um, who is this money going to? Is it going to Stonewall? Uh, because there's an awful lot of people out there uh, who deserve to know where this money is going. And if you don't support Stonewall, uh, then I'm afraid, uh, you know, you, one wouldn't be giving them any money. And But my point was, it was also about the flag and what it represents. It's not the equality flag, which covered everybody, as the poppy does. This new progress flag, as they call it, is the very opposite. And that was what I was trying to uh, find out. And I got rather, a, I got a message saying, no, we don't give money to Stonewall, which prompted a lot of other people to say, well, you do. Uh, so I don't know. But they said to me they don't. Well, I thought, fine, OK. Yes, and we've actually contacted the Royal British Legion. They said, and I'll read their statement to you so you're clear, they said, we have no relationship with Stonewall, but we have worked with them in the past. We do not pay Stonewall money, and we can confirm donations to the Poppy Appeal will be used to support members of the armed forces community who need us. Diversity and inclusion is important to the RBL, and Stonewall were one of the organisations we spoke to about this area and how can it, we can improve. And the RBL was part of Stonewall's diversity champion scheme for a period between 2018 and 2020. But, James, I think the point is that for a lot of, act, a lot of people, gay people in particular, that Progress Pride flag represents a movement that supports the erosion of uh, gay rights, the erosion of same-sex attraction, the medicalisation of young people who are gay, uh, they see it as an anti-gay symbol. And what was interesting about the Twitter conversation is a lot of gay people were saying to the RBL, this is a deeply offensive symbol to us, this is, this is a homophobic symbol that you're promoting. And there were hundreds of these messages and the, 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 the Royal British Legion seemed to be just ignoring them or batting them aside. Well, I mean, it's the same as what happened with uh, Kew Gardens, isn't it? Uh, with their queering of flowers. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I think these people just don't care. Uh, they've gone, but they've hired a diversity uh, a DEI officer, and they are going, they're just repeating like a mantra what they've been told. Uh, I don't know how much this DEI officer is getting paid and who pays them, but um, uh, uh, they simply will not listen to but... gay people um, uh, uh, around the country. And uh, what I find astonishing is they don't understand that this excessive pushing of every single time you turn around, there's this progress flag attached to it. It's having the opposite effect. They think they're doing something positive, when actually they're doing gay people a huge disservice and huge damage. The poppy represents all. The original equality flag represented all. Uh, all these extra additions uh, just muddy the waters and make it harder for everyone. And I should say that a lot, of, a lot of women have pointed out as well that that symbol to them represents a misogynistic movement. And, and you know, so this is, you know, and it's very frustrating, isn't it? Because the, the, the poppy cause is something we should all be able to get behind. Supporting veterans you know, is a really important cause. But when you have the people running the charity politicising it in this way, which is so divisive, I mean, and, and actually, you know, offending uh, most gay people when they do, and yeah. women when they do it. Yeah. Well, you know, that's why it's so frustrating, isn't it? Because we should, it should be something we can all get behind. Well, you, you one would have thought so. I mean, this, this whole thing, I, I referred to it the other day as Russian dolling. They, you know, everything has to be put into a box, into a box, into a box, into a box. And, you know, unless, unless I can't, unless I don't see myself there, uh, I'm not represented. Well, that's a ridiculous place to come from. All that does is cause further division. It should be blindingly obvious to anyone 
who looks at it. I, I often use the, the example of the uh, little green person when you cross the road. I mean, are you not going to cross the road because it doesn't represent you? It's, it's a symbol. And the poppy is a symbol. The equality flag was a symbol. And it should be a uniting thing. We should all get behind you know, uh, remembering those lost in in the war, or, or or the the gay activists who fought for our rights, we have today. But no, it goes to sort of this person uh, who just redesigns it. One person, and no one has had a say in it. And you can see what's happening on that flag. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, you know, the rainbow flag is being stomped, stomped yeah, over. Yeah, uh, 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 absolutely. Um, and, you know, on Remembrance Sunday, I will be wearing a poppy, but I won't be wearing the yeah. Progress Pride flag poppy because yeah. I think that's a deeply divisive figure. But on the other hand, I do want to support the veterans. So, you know, there's people are now in conflict. I've even saw veterans commenting on this. Uh, but it's interesting yeah. that the, the Twitter spats that have been going back and forth with the, with the Royal British Legion, uh, yeah. very revealing because they're using the boilerplate language of Stonewall. And they do admit yeah. that they used to have a relationship with Stonewall. And doesn't this just show the extent of the influence that Stonefall, Stonewall has had? I know a lot of people are driving them out now and, you know, uh, yeah. well overdue. Um, yeah. But it has had a lasting effect and people just don't understand the issues. No, it's a, it's a toxic relationship. And all it, you only need one person because then you get the culture of blame. Don't, if you don't go along with something, it's rather like being asked your pronouns. It's not a question, it's a test. And if you don't go along with the DEI officer, you are therefore by default phobic of some kind. And this is where we are now. And, and, and I think the exasperation over this is it's been a, an accumulative effect. And we haven't, people haven't suddenly decided, oh no, you know, a pride pin is on something. It's, it's been an escalation. And yes. finally, the one symbol, the poppy, that actually should unite everybody, even that has been captured. And I think most people are looking at this and going, do you know what, enough's enough. I mean, it is, it is ubiquitous, particularly during Pride Month. But I mean, it's, uh, it's, it, it, and, and that's another, I mean, it's not even Pride Month, but it's, it's still sort of em emerging. I mean, if I'm trying to find a restaurant in London during Pride Month, I mean, I won't go somewhere with, that's flying the Progress Pride flag, but it really no, limits your London. options, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, it's... I mean, I, 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 when you think back and you think the little, the little uh, rainbow flag in the corner of a pub meant that you could go in there and safely have a drink, and, and if the bar staff saw you holding hands or something, it wasn't an issue. That's what it meant. It just meant we'll take, we've got our eye on you in this pub, we'll take care of it. That's what it meant. And that was for anyone, lesbians, gay people, trans, whatever. But now we've moved into a situation where you're involving kids and you're involving uh, puberty blockers and you're involving uh, sterilization and all these things that a lot of gay people do not want to be associated with. They just don't. Now and this. Sorry, James, because yeah, I want to ask you about this, the, the, the sheer ubiquity of it, the fact that it's gone absolutely everywhere. It has also gone into the theatre profession. I was speaking to an actor friend of mine who doesn't, doesn't actually get work anymore because she, she says she won't rehearse for a play where she has to announce her pronouns in the, first, in, the, in the first session. And unfortunately, that means there are no plays that you can be cast in. I'm afraid so. I mean, that's where, that's where we are. I, I, I mean, and a lot of people would do it. And if, on principle, you say, you, know, just, you just imagine, this is why it's, such a, it's, it's, it's actually quite a cruel test. Because what it does is it was on the first day where, where 10 years ago, none of these things would have ever mattered. You get on with people with different opinions, uh, uh, people, different religions, different beliefs, because that's not important. You don't bring your whole self to work. You bring your work self to work. And that's how people work together. The moment you start uh, putting in this, these pronoun things or you, you don't believe in a certain I ideology, you're being tested. And if you don't answer the question as they wish, you are then going to be called a bigot and you are going to be excluded. So all this talk of inclusion and diversity, it's an absolute con because it produces the complete opposite effect. And isn't it the case that in the theatre, in the arts, what you really want is a plurality of opinion, a, pr a plurality of worldview? I mean, I, I, listen, I managed to su uh, survive for 36 years getting on with people, uh, you, you know, that I never would agree with in a million, million years. But the point was it was never an issue because actually you went to work to go to work. If you wanted to discuss these things in your off time, you went to a pub and a club, you had a row and then you walked out. But you have to get on and you have to work together. This automatically puts a barrier on day one. Yes. You comply or 
you won't, you won't work again. And don't forget of the knock-on effects of this, is that, you know, the word gets around very, very easily, and soon you'll be blacklisted. And just to finally to bring it back to the Royal British Legion, my view is that I don't think I don't think that whoever's running the Twitter account, it might be some crazy intern, I don't know, but I don't think that the people who are working there really understand these issues. I don't think they hate gay people or hate women or want to offend anyone. I think they think they're doing the right thing. I think they are genuinely trying to promote inclusion, not realising oh, right. they're promoting the opposite. I mean, am I wrong about that? No, I think you're right. I wrote I wrote in my original tweet to them, it's a misguided effort. I think I think a lot of these people do think they're doing the right thing. Come one, come all, you know, we'll include you all. But what they don't listen to is when you've got gay people saying, yeah, but hang on a second, who are you talking about for a start? Who are you associating with? You can, it's all very well uh, to do it all under the, this big banner, this ever-increasing amount of uh, letters that nobody really understands. But who are you speaking on behalf of? Because please listen to us when I tell you that the majority of gay people are fed up with being spoken over and no one at the moment is listening. And, and maybe they just write us off as bigots. I mean, which happened with Peter Tatchell today, you know, who just said you're homophobic right-wing bigots. And we were going, well, even us gay people who are thinking, yeah. So, you know, unfortunately, we're on the hamster wheel, aren't we? We just keep well, going round and round. James, if you're a homophobic bigot, you've worked very hard to cover it up, <laughs> I have to say. James, thanks so much for joining me here on the show. Really appreciate it. Nice to see you, Andrew.